financial devices that are so non-transparent, we have no idea that they can take the firm or the country down. I had a big Eric Schmidt talking bad. The BBC's not dry. Burma's ruling generals have held pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi under house arrest for 14 of the last 19 years. The United Nations long complained her detention contravened international law. But now, the UN body says keeping her under house arrest is also against the country's own national laws. So, could this new development help speed up her release? In the reports of one of Aung San Suu Kyi's lawyers, Jared Genser, the UN working group on arbitrary detention, they make the case uh, quite clearly in their judgment that even if you were to assume the validity of Burmese law, now having detained her for more than five years, they are also not abiding by their own law. Because that would have run out in May 2008. But exactly. How is this useful to you? From a political and public relations standpoint, uh, it provides an opportunity for the international community to make the case to the United Nations that the need for the highest level of movement from the Secretary General himself and from the Secretary General. It's been a real challenge. Uh, we facilitated the letter uh, last December from 112 former presidents and prime ministers around the world from 50 plus countries, urging the Secretary General himself to go to try to facilitate dialogue and national reconciliation. What do you think that would achieve if Aung San Suu Kyi himself? Well, my hope is that that kind of a visit, you know, really could be a win-win. Uh, either he goes and gets something, which is frankly more than he has ever gotten before, and 50 plus visits of special envoys around the board over the years. Uh, obviously, I don't consider that to be the, the most likely outcome. But the other outcome, I think, also would be a win, which is to get nothing. And it puts the ball back in the lap of the Security Council. And it makes it easier, I believe, in that kind of a circumstance for the United States and the uh, European Union countries and others to press China and Russia, which has wanted a dialogue approach, to, uh, to, to actually achieve something, or else stand aside and let the Security Council take further action. You were saying that the human rights abuses in, in Myanmar are not very visible. Yeah.